The newsroom contains language and subject matter that some viewers may find offensive. We recommend viewer discretion. We could have a nuclear plant meltdown within 35 minutes, 20 miles from here. Another Chernobyl, actually. Metro meltdown. Pass. Horrible. Can do, can't do. It's a can do reactor, and I thought. I it... get it, and I hate it. I love that. Yes. Can we get a shot of a mutated baby? God, George. Could people die? I have to get my cat out of the city. This is it. I get it now. Death. I want to hear death through this whole thing. This is too much about death, this nuclear story. Okay? This has to be more life affirming. Take out burn victims in Hiroshima. I want a dog leaping for a frisbee in a field. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. God is touching something in Toronto. He's touching the tip of the CN Tower. I want OJ and I want a nuclear holocaust twist to it. Nuclear holocaust twist. Are you telling me people can't relate to a China syndrome in their backyard? China syndrome they can relate to. I like that. That's a hook. That's how you build a news story. We could win a Gemini Award for this. China Syndrome is perfect. China Syndrome. China Syndrome is perfect. People can relate to that. They saw the movie. If we get a character out there who looks like Jane Fonda, the audience, we, start, we draw them in. We draw them in. Audrey, get casting on this. Find a woman who we could send out as the Jane Fonda type. A Jane Fonda type? I'm going for a little production value, OK? I'm trying to build a story here, we, a little we, production value. We can't, we can't use an actor on, on, a, on a story this big. Well, why not? I mean, what does a reporter do? A reporter reads copy, write the copy, get an actress, send her out there. <clears throat> why don't we um, get some experts? Yes, analysts. Yeah, OK, that makes sense. OK? A man and a woman. OK, I want some underlying sexual tension here. Well, we don't, we don't need, I mean, sex, we don't need sex. We've got a nuclear disaster, so... No, 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 no. Yeah. Sexual tension. You know what I want? The, the Greta Van Susteren character. Remember from the O.J. trial, the two of them, the guy with the curly hair, the two lawyers? You want, you want those two from the Simpson trial? Of course not. I want the same relationship, okay? Those two, the two lawyers, okay? He's pro-nuke, wears a suit. She's anti-nuke. She's attractive, but she's ironic. He's on the right, she's on the left, but she still wants to sleep with him. She does. The audience has to imagine she wants to sleep with them. Better. Dress her in Donna Karen stuff, heels. OK, I don't want the Birkenstocks. I want her legs shaved, and I don't want some woman in here who's 45 years old and has decided to go prematurely gray to make a point. I just want to make this work as a news story, OK? I want the Fonda character at the site. I want the Greta Van Susser and the other guy in the studio. I want the casting director to have a copy of a China Syndrome. And that Greta character, I want her to be Greenpeace, but I don't want her to be shrill. Roger Cossack. What? Roger Cossack. He's the guy, the other guy that was with Greta Van Suster. Oh, OK, right, do I right, get a right. point for that? You get a point. Thank you. I'll be in casting. This woman is a pass. Oh, this is total Baywatch time. Forget her. this one. OK, I got one here. August 1st, 1983, a pressure tube in Pickering, Reactor 2, ruptured with little warning. The meter-long break dumped 17 kilograms of heavy water per second onto the floor of the reactor wall. Oh, she's got the right look. Can we get her? She's on her way in. Good. In November 1990, all moderated room pumps were found seized at Pickering Unit 4. OK, this does not resemble Jane Fonda. I like her. I like her hair. She's too pouty. I like those kind of lips. She's doing a Jean-Claude Van Damme picture. He's in town? Mm-hmm. You see, why don't we have Jean-Claude Van Damme on the show? He's a big star. He's doing a picture in Toronto. We tried, and he passed. He passed? He passed. Asshole. You know, instead of trying to get Jean-Claude Van Damme, why don't we get a nuclear physicist who could give the stuff some perspective? She does a paper towel commercial, doesn't she? Tampons. Let's get her in. Let's get her in. So just relax, this is just a rehearsal. This is the first Great Ancestor and Roger Cossack team. Do they know they're auditioning? No, they think they're the only ones. Good, good. Okay. Go ahead. Let's face some facts, Jim. The four reactors at Pickering A, which have been operating since 1971 and 1973. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Can you be a little less earnest? I, I, I know you're connected to, to Greenpeace, but you don't have to be that earnest, you know? George, she's not an actor. 
I'm looking for something here. Uh, just a little more energy. That's what. More energy. Let's face some facts, Jim. The four reactors at Pickering A. Sorry, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Uh, you gotta. You gotta project more. Let's face some facts, Jim. The four reactors. No, you're still doing the same thing. Well. Uh... This is TV, okay? I, I think it'll just work a lot better if you're just a little bigger. Okay. From the top. From the top. Uh, let's face some facts, Jim. The okay. Um, four... Did you watch the O.J. Simpson thing? The trap? Did you ever see the Greta Van Susteren character? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, louder. Go and ahead. it is not surprising that a dual-mode accident such as this one should eventually occur. The fact is, can do, can't do. Did you hear that? Can do, can't do. You dumped on me when I said that. <clears throat> okay, the lawyer, just be yourself, be natural, be real. This is a news show. All right, I I'm not saying that uh, we don't have a serious situation out there, uh, Jim. Um, but, and Adrian's right when she says that uh, the plan is old. sorry, you're agreeing with her. You can't agree with her. There has to be some kind of conflict here. We want to get a kind of a crossfire thing. Going. I know you're not actors, but just give me a little bit of conflict, okay? Okay, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I know we got a serious situation down there. And Adrian's right that uh, the plant is old, but you are wrong about this. Thank you very much. Great, great. You'll be great. Uh, okay, okay, okay? you can go. The makeup woman wants me to shave under my arms. What the hell is that? Well, you could wear a blouse with a longer sleeve. That's not the point. The comment was totally unacceptable, especially in a crisis of this magnitude. Look, am I going on air or not? I mean, I, I didn't think I was auditioning. You're not? Well, look, I've got a busy law practice downtown, all right? So, like, am I on air or not? You're on air. You're both on air. Unless something unforeseeable happens. This is the second team. Do they also think they're the only ones? That's right. Good. You can just go ahead anytime. It's just a rehearsal. All emergency planning scenarios uh, assume that radioactivity can be held in containment chambers for uh, one point. several days. Excuse me. Um, the skirt. Can you just, uh, just an inch, just an inch more leg? What? It's just television. Did you see the O.J. Simpson trial, the Greta Van Susteren uh, character? Uh, well, yes, I did. Well, she, she just had this... The, it's just there, there is this sexual relationship between the... Uh... Don't do anything you don't feel comfortable doing. No, don't. Okay. But right, thank you. I just want it to be believable, all right? Um, okay, can we start from the top? If this accident is as big as I think it is, that's not necessarily the case. And the fact is that the can-do can't do... Again. Okay. There are going to be risks if you want to have affordable and plentiful energy. Now, you, you people want it, but you, you don't want the acceptable risk. So the nuclear industry is damned if they do and damned if they don't. Um, on the word energy, did I detect an accent of, of some kind? Well, I spent some time in, in South Africa. It might have just sort of... It just sounded a, a, a little, um, a little uh, pretentious to me. I, just... I can do a sort of a Bronx thing if you want. You can do a Bronx accent? George, don't make him do an accent. Okay, fine. Take a shot. Oh, okay, from from from, from the top, sort of a New York kind of. Yes, yes, just so down. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. That'd be great. It's a little more aggressive. I'm just trying to make the piece work. He's humiliating himself. This is a problem. Try the Bronx thing. Dump the British, the South African thing on the energy. Okay, and we'll go. And your guys are great. Okay, we have a problem here, and no one's trying to cover that up. We've got a possible Chernobyl, twenty-five miles from the city. And I have got a budget request from a casting director for female reporters. George, what the heck are you doing? Where's the story? Did you get a copy of the China Syndrome that I sent you I've off? seen it. Why did you in turn drop a copy off of my desk? Why are we watching movies? Well, I wanted to send a reporter to the site who was like Jane Fonda in that movie. That was a movie. This is the real thing. George, you're working on graphic openings. You got music. Casting? Where's the story? I'm getting it. I'm getting it. You're in denial, George. Oh, I'm in denial? I'm... Yes, you can't deal with your own mortality. You can't deal with the horror of this. So you are burying your head in the sands of overproduction. The sands of... I absolutely can't deal with my own mortality, okay? Then get the story and stop jerking off. What's the story? If I don't know the story, I can't understand the motivation of my character, and I have to know my motivation. 
odds Jane Fonda in the China Syndrome? Oh, I love her. Oh, Fonda was great in that. Um, the thing is, though, Carol's in the middle of shooting a Van Damme picture right now, and uh, what you're asking her to do is go from one character to another. That's very difficult for an actor, so she really wants to see a script. A script? Yeah. Um, you play a reporter. You'll be fine. What does she do? Um, well, she reports, okay? What does she report, though? Um, we can't work like this. We need a, you know, we need a script. Or... I know. I have something to do right now, but she plays herself. Oh, well, she played herself in a Cronenberg film, actually. She was uh, killed in a car crash. As herself, she was wonderful. That's exactly it. That's all you have to do, okay? Well, when, when do I get the script? Uh, very soon. Very soon. I've got two experts on their way in for live studio spots. One's a transit specialist who says Toronto has no adequate evacuation plan in place for a Chernobyl-like disaster. <laughs> George, I have a fantastic new design idea for your anchor desk. It's already in Milan. I want to talk to you about it. I'll see you downstairs at the reception. Good. How about a little drink, my office? The seal rings that lead into the uh, vacuum chambers uh -huh. of every uh, nuclear plant in the province have deteriorated. Uh -huh. Now, what this means is if... Is there uh, a script yet? Uh, not yet. Well, if, if I don't know the story, I can't understand the motivation of my character. Well, just play Jane Fonda from the China Syndrome. I'm doing a Van Damme picture right now. You'll be great in this. Don't worry about a thing. Thank you. Listen, George, uh, we could have a serious nuclear accident on our hands. I have a reception downstairs in 15 minutes. I have to run. I'll be right back. Are you George Finley? Yes, I am. <laughs> Jessica Nobel. God, give me such a hard time down in security. I mean, they were such jerks. Christ, it's not like they don't know who I am. I mean, I've only done about 200 roles here. You know, this is the fifth anchor I've played. Oh, you're here for the Fonda character? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the anchor. You'll be perfect. Well, I mean, I'd be perfect if I could find a script and find a little bit about what the story is. Oh, it's a nuclear accident. Could you wear your hair up? Yeah, but this is for the news. What is it, like a dramatization or...? Yes, it's a dramatization, exactly. That's exactly it. You'll be perfect. Is that what you're wearing? No, but wardrobe hasn't contacted me. I'll, I'll take care of that. I'll, I'll take care of that. We shooting on location or in the building? Uh, location, I think. Location, you think? Uh, we're shooting today. You'll be perfect for this. Yeah, but uh, uh, this re re reporter, is she, is she tough? Is she sweet? Is she a bitch? Uh, Barbara Walters, Diane Sawyer, Pam Wallen, what? She's you. Just play yourself. You'll be fabulous. I want reality. Just be real. Be yourself. This is just a really bad time for you to be here. Audrey, look, man, I was just downtown. I thought I'd drop in, you know? This is a job, I've Sean. Gotta talk about this. I have to work. Okay, look, just give me five minutes, okay? Five Why? minutes. Why? Why? It's over. It's over. There's nothing to say. You weren't honest with me. It's over. Audrey, okay, it was an old charge, okay? I was a, I, I was a passenger in the car. I didn't even know the car was stolen. There were other cars. Uh, you know, it's not that you steal cars. It's that you care enough about them to steal one. You know? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm at work. I shouldn't be doing it. No, I'm telling you, this is very mellow, kind of relaxing. No. No, there is a nuclear meltdown 20 miles from here. Then you could go off like a bomb. <laughs> you know, which is not funny, but... I know. I know. I know. You know, I saw this documentary on uh, Hiroshima. And... Uh, where, uh, where the Japanese took all this footage after the bomb, right? They filmed all this stuff. People walking around half burnt. And, like, wow, you know, it was incredible footage. But, you know, and I'm thinking, you know, who's got this stuff, like, to, 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 to who shot it, you know? You see footage of burning people, and, no, and you think about who shot it? That's it. The world has come down to footage. Do you get that? Well, you know something I think, I think you think about it too much. It's probably the pot. I get what you're doing. I smell pot. Have you been smoking a joint? No. No, this is, uh... Yep. It's the shirt, probably from, you know, club. What was that last night? Um, anyways. This whole thing with the wardrobe and the actresses and the... I know what you're doing. 